How's it going guys? <laughs> Check this out. We've got something in the mail. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, buddy. So, I don't know if you guys uh, watched my previous video where I removed my radiator from my uh, vehicle because it was full with crystals. Oh, yeah. hell no! Crystals! Can you believe that? Diamonds! Oh! Diamonds, baby! <laughs> but check it out! I'm not kidding! Hey, yeah, see those crystals right there? Crystals! Yeah! I'm telling you! It, it's crazy! <laughs> but it is what it is! If you guys haven't seen that video, I'm gonna put a link right up here for you guys to go and check it out! Um, how I managed to remove my radiator without draining my uh, refrigerant for my AC. Yeah, buddy, that was a nice. success. So that was awesome, because uh, if I had to you know, drain that, that could cost me another 100 bucks, plus minus, maybe even more actually. What? But uh, yeah, so let's open the box and let's see what we have. Hope you guys are ready. <laughs> Can someone guess what I have in the box? <laughs> what do you guys think I have here? Or well, the question is, how do you guys think I should open it? Stop it. Actually, Get some help. I think I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it right. Oh man, look at that! Came with the gaskets! Yes! Yeah, boy. Yes, 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 yes! I'm gonna show you now where those gaskets go, but... Woo wee! Yes! <laughs> so happy! Brand spanking new! Oh my god! Smells like money. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Bottom. So this is the bottom. Right there. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna put it on side and clean up real quick. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Okay, guys. So why I'm excited so much for those two gaskets is because actually one of them I think it was leaking a little bit I don't know maybe it was maybe it wasn't but it like my hose so right here I don't know if you guys can see that but it was like dirty focus yep you guys see that yeah it was a lot more but I cleaned it I cleaned my gasket as well so yeah, that's what I'm, I mean, you know, I'm thinking it was leaking from there a little bit, not a lot, but now since I have two new gaskets, oh, look at that, it's gonna be a nice snug fit. And then the second one is for this uh, guy right here, this is actually on the top, this guy actually is on the bottom from my uh, water pump. Okay. Oh yeah. Just for the comparison, let me show you guys. This is the original one, and this is the new one. And the new one looks a little bit more fat. You know. So I don't know how those gaskets are getting, you know, smaller or thinner. I guess. I guess you can call. Oh man. Yeah, that's beautiful. I was actually thinking to put some silicone around it. You know, 
this guy right there just a little bit around it but I mean I don't know we'll see maybe I'll add a little bit just to make it you know more easy to go in but we'll see maybe on that so let me set you up a little bit higher guys and uh, let's the party begin okay and uh, one more thing um, when you guys throw your old radiator don't forget to grab um, the rubber bushing so I'm talking about there's like one here and one here these two guys so just like just like that and then this guy right there boom and there is this rubber it's not really a gasket I don't know I think it's more when um, when you put the, the the AC radiator when it gets snugged in here you know so it doesn't rub you know between plastic and plastic or metal and metal or something like that so it goes just like right here actually let me see I think doesn't probably really matter but I'm trying I'm just trying to match you know all of the dents that this one has so so it's gonna be more easier for me when I put the other radiator There you go. So the other radiator is gonna just sit this way and then just clip to those two clips that I showed you guys, and that's it. Let's do it. Hello. Okay guys, so next thing is going to be this guy right here, needs to go right over there, and with the magic of video editing, boom! So, we've got that figured out, then the next thing, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, maybe, nope. Not this guy, and not this guy, probably will be this guy, to go right there. So once again, boom! Hey, hey. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We are getting closer and closer. I'm thinking now this guy right here and this is actually way down there you guys can't really see so I'm gonna put that one real quick uh, that one goes from the water pump right here like right down here connects from there and then connects down to the radiator and then there is one more pipe that goes right there so let me get that one done. Okay guys, finally I got that guy right there. This guy. So, 
finally that one is in so now let's see if we can get the fan the fan the fan the fan that's gonna be pretty fun I hope that this guy's not gonna be on my way I hope but let's see Okay, it worked with a little bit of a finesse. Yeah, boy. The electrical. The electrical. Looks like the electrical is going. Oh man. Okay. We've got that, we've got that. I believe I can fly. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Now it comes to these two caps right here. And this guy. Perfect. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Where is the other holes? Oh, huh, there you go. Now this guy needs, oops, needs to get in there and then in here. I'm gonna put some, a little bit of uh, coolant to get, so I can get my uh, trap easier. It's gonna go right here, right here. Okay, check it out guys, right there. Yep, that's soda and then that guy right there. That's the tricky guy. Maybe I should have started with the tricky guy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, <clears throat> so let's see, I think the next one is this guy, I think it's this guy but uh, yeah, I don't have the clamp, mm, never mind guys I found it, I think it's this guy, <laughs> let's see. Looks like it. Let's see. Maybe this guy? Yeah, this guy first. There you go. Clips right here. And this guy. There. Now this guy goes right here. Yeah, it's dirty. Okay. This other end right there. Honestly, I think I don't. I really didn't need to remove this plastic piece, but yeah, I was thinking that this the entire plastic needs to come out. But oh well. Let me get that piece done, and, uh, and then we can uh, start filling up. I think. Well, we can put the rest of the piece. But yeah. Oh 
Oke, okay, lari dari 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 lari dari lari dari. Oke. Okay. Believe this guy goes there. I guess for right now, I don't want to put these pieces just to make sure that nothing is leaking, stuff like that. So I'll put them inside. Let me show what kind of a trick I have to fill it up and uh, burp it and remove all the air from the system. So usually um, there is this type of a tool where you put it on top, you run the compressor and removes all of the air and creates a negative pressure inside of the system. So there is, you know, zero air and then you just, you know, straight you know from the vacuum that you're creating from the system it sucks the coolant to the tank to the system basically so but instead of that I have a, a tinker simple solution I kind of modified it uh, but I'll show you how we're gonna do that okay so let me grab it real quick do it okay guys well let me show you what I modified and what I did um, you guys probably have seen all you know these funnels in like to the you know auto zone stores, uh, Riley's, you know all the auto, auto auto parts. So basically, this is a funnel to burp your radiator. Uh, it comes with package like this for all different type of sizes and you know extensions. Um, yeah, and the thing is uh, this funnel is actually made for I believe it's made for American and maybe some of the uh, Chinese or Japanese vehicles you know Honda or like stuff like that I believe we can use it not 100 sure um, but for me all of the attachments you know the cap didn't work for me because it's a European vehicle German and the thing that I did is basically you buy I went on eBay and I bought this cap. This is my original cap for my vehicle, for Mercedes. All of them are the same. Yeah, yeah. So basically, you can use it on a C class and on a GL, you know, the basically that I'm driving right now. So, thing that I did, I got the cap, I removed this bottom piece, this bottom piece is on the clips. So just take it out and then boom I drew the hole now with that hole is the same diameter with my uh, attachment here my extension that extension goes in I have gaskets on the bottom and on the top as you can see that this thing goes there now we just tighten it you know get it sealed you know ish Now when you put the funnel there, it becomes a funnel. And at the same time, when you fill it up with coolant, you're gonna fill it up probably around here, you know, to here. And now this becomes your highest point. Uh, you guys need to be very, very careful because if this, if the system doesn't get um, burped properly, you have a hot pocket, and then that coolant is gonna become super hot, and then this thing is gonna want to blow up in your face. So, danger, 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 very be careful. Um, this is a cap that, you know, supposed to be, you know, if something, you know, st stuff start happening and all of the bubbling, you know, and all the boiled uh, coolant comes to here, this is your cap to stop it so it doesn't blow up in your face. Um, be careful. Super duper be careful. Um, if you guys are using it, I mean, I'm using it, so I don't know. You guys, watch the video and tell me if I'm crazy or not. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys decided to use this method, method, be very caution and be very careful. Like I said, there is a different type of a way to fill it up, but I'm gonna do it into the, you know, cheapest 
way. Because they've really made it, you know, it has a compressor and special attachment and yeah. This is basically, you know, this funnel I paid like 15, 20 bucks. My cap was like 10 bucks and done deal. And uh, I can use it on every, on all my vehicles. So without further ado, um, don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And uh, let's start filling up uh, with coolant. You guys can see all the air is coming out right on this point. Did you say something? Whoa. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, guys, and uh, let me show you one more trick. I guess you can call it. Um, usually this is done with a compressor. Right now, you guys, you know, see that kind of stopped, and probably we hit a pocket somewhere. So to be able to move the air from the system, you're gonna have to put, you know. I kind of taped the end of it so it's bigger than the bottom, you know, hole. So basically, creating a cap. And when you blow, you're blowing air into the system, pushing the coolant down, or you know, technically, you're moving it. So just stick it to the bottom, create a seal, and just blow. You guys see that? If you guys don't have a compressor, if you have a compressor, just you know, push a little bit here and call it a day. Since I don't have a compressor, you know, manually it works as well. Let me open the garage and let's see. I'm gonna move you guys in a safer location. So before it gets too loud, um, I'm gonna start the vehicle, turn my heat to max, and I'm gonna get my fan to blow max air inside of the vehicle. So hot on max, fan on max. And uh, we can watch the filter as well right here to see you know when the cooling is passing through I don't know if you guys can hear it but this is my secondary coolant pump pump is the electrical one so right now it's just moving cool it's actually it's helping i'm gonna put this cardboard underneath my vehicle to see if there is any leaks
Okay guys, so I didn't, uh, didn't get a full cycle. There is no leaks on the bottom. Everything is clean. So I'm gonna put the underbelly panels and everything. And I'm gonna lower the vehicle and level it up because right now I'm you know creating this hill like that where my front point it's kind of my highest point so when I level it up then this engine is gonna be leveled and then this is gonna be my highest point it will make you know the job a lot more easier for the water pump to pull the air around it so let me do that real quick and uh, yeah okay guys so I lowered the vehicle you guys can see it's super low right now so we're gonna do the same exact thing let me open the garage and let's start it you guys can see the vehicle raising and hopefully you guys are gonna be able to hear bubbles if not I will and don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm <laughs> Okay guys, so it shows 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Or Celsius? Yeah. yeah, 80 Celsius. So I'm waiting for the fan to kick in and cool it off. And that when the fan kicks in that means the vehicle got to a normal temperature. But so far so good. Okay guys, so I lowered the, the fan speed uh, to minimum, to like one bar, because it seems like since it's cold outside, the car cannot heat up, or at least looks like it, I don't know. So I'm gonna wait and see what's gonna happen, but for right now, it cannot reach, you know, the maximum temperature where the fan, you know, kicks in. Even that on the dashboard it shows you know between 80 and 120. So I don't know. Let's see. Right now looks fine, but Okay guys, I think we're ready, I think, so let me show you, the thing is running, I did see that? Okay. Um, so I'm pumping 
Bandit. Oh, Bandit. We are on exactly 80, which I don't know, I think that's low, but at the same time, I don't know. I've read some forums, and a lot of people are saying that their vehicles are running above 80. Oh, you guys see that spike? So yeah, I think definitely, yep, there we go, that's the last bike. So I think there's still some air into the system, you know, probably with revving the engine, that should make it work, but right now it's uh, 10 o'clock and I don't want to disturb my neighbors because they live in an apartment complex, so I'm going to continue tomorrow, but let me show you how we're going to safely shut off the vehicle. <laughs> because if you shut it off right now, it's gonna blow up. <laughs> I mean, the cooling is gonna you know, spill all over the place. So, right now, I have this piece in there. Push it all the way down. And that's the way. Shook it. Now we can, you know. Shut up the vehicle. I think we got it. Temperature, I think this is a normal one right there. So, yeah, buddy. Oh, and let me show you. Um, so, to check if everything is working and hitting. Holding a thermostat. Is that? For now, okay. So you can blow any leaks. You see any leaks? 
that one there was uh, from uh, from me but yeah and then yeah it was from here but uh yeah other than that let's see if i can open it carefully yeah nothing so i'm gonna leave it like that open overnight and I'll check it in the morning when it's cold. Probably remove the excess, you know, coolant that if I have here. But usually, you know, suck it in and I'll tap off and I'll drive it and see, you know, how it, how it acts and uh, how everything goes. So this turned to a long video, but. It is what it is. I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, you know, honestly, I was doing it for like a couple of days after work, so yeah. You know, it's a it was it's a big project. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I mean, if you have a full day, um, probably can do it for a full day. But uh, I didn't have a full day, so yeah, buddy. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you guys uh, like video like this, um, currently I'm looking for a project vehicle where we can uh, do some fun, fun projects on it. And uh, yeah, and I still have some couple projects that I need to do on my uh, wife's vehicle. So yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube uh, algorithm. And don't forget, guys, if I can do it, you guys can do it. So I'll see you in the next one.